Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we will see about the default SharePoint site templates, previously known as the site designs that are available in modern sites. So, modern sites means I am talking about both modern team site as well as modern communication site. Now, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint. Office 365, SPFX, Power Platform, all these technology videos you will get it. Now before proceeding further, uh, let me just tell you a few points on this. So basically when we talk about this new site template, so these are pre-populated pages or and also page templates. There are certain news posts will be there, certain web parts will be there, which you can customize according to your business requirement. Now, to customize this or to apply these templates, you require SharePoint site owner permission or hire permission that is uh, both the things will be fine. But at least you should have SharePoint site owner permission. So when you will apply this, it will create a new default home page, uh, sorry, new home page and it will set that to the default home page. Uh, but if you have any kind of content which is there, those you can get it from the SharePoint site content. So from there you can get it. So when you will open by applying a template, you will see that the home page, home page URL will be different because it will set a, another page at the home page. Your old home page, if it will be there, it will be there in the site pages library, which you can access it from SharePoint site content. So if I'll tell you a couple of examples on that, which we will see while creating the SharePoint uh, site. So if you'll see here communication site, these are the templates are available, crisis management department, leadership collections, learning central, new employee onboarding, voluntary center. So these kind of templates are available. In the same way in the modern team set, you will get event planning, project management, training and courses, training and development team, store uh, collaboration, team collaboration, like this kind of templates are available. So now what we will do is we will create a, a new SharePoint team site as well as a communication site and then we will see how we can apply it. So for that I will open my SharePoint online um, you know SharePoint admin center. So let me just open it. You can see here this is my SharePoint online admin center and if you we'll click on active sites from here we can create the site. So now if I'll click on create, you will have two options. So com uh, team site, communication site also, you have other options are there, which you can also um, create it, uh, use it to create site. So first we will create a communication site. Let's say I'll say communication test, something like that. I will create, I'll set the site owner. Let's say I will set my name here and click on finish. So you can see here uh, it is finished now. So it is just taking some time and it is finished now. So this is the site basically. I'll click on that. And now you can see here. Now when you will create a site instantly when you will open that site, it will show you this dialog box where you can see the templates. You can see here. Um, this is clearly it is showing that you can from the settings or the gear icon you can do it. But if you'll see here, click on browse template. Now here you can see from microsoft these are the templates which are provided from microsoft which i was talking about and then from organization if you your organization have deployed any kind of templates uh, that you can see it here these things we'll discuss it later but here first you can see this now imagine i will i want to use this so you can see use template so it will take some time and it will apply the template to the sharepoint so now if you look at this this is our site now you can see uh, I'll just close it uh, now see this is what they have created all you can see it is written sample content on these things uh, I will quickly show you if I'll click on site settings and you can see apply a site template you will come up with this screen with the same screen you can see it here in the same way I will create a now a another team site so I'll click on create and uh, then you can see here team site so I'll say site template team and uh, I will provide a group owner here. So you can see this is the group owner. I'll click on next. And if you want to put additional owners, you can put additional members. If you want to put, you can put and then click on finish. So once you click on finish, our team site will be there. You can see here site template team. So this is the site that we have created now. 
click over here and same dialog box you can see here it is coming click on browse template and this time uh, let's use this training and development so when you will use this you can see use template same way also it will take some time and it will our site will be ready once our site will be ready you can see almost it is done now let me show you exactly what is happening behind the scene so if i will edit this page now you can see here there is edit button if i'll click on edit now you can see this is a hero web part here is the upcoming events that you can use these these are the quick links web part and if you want to change it you you can click over here edit it you can change it you can see uh, so if you want to change the link you can change the link you can press select the icon you can if you want to change you can change it if you want to delete this icon you can do it so basically these are the li these are the link web parts that my quick links web, web part basically that microsoft has been customized has customized for us and we can use this so behind the scene if i will tell you these are various web parts you can see these these are the news post so this has been created by microsoft for us now i will republish it now we will go to the site content now in team site also same option apply site template and you will come up with the same screen where you can see all the templates now if i'll go to the site content here then look at this if i'll click on this uh, site pages now here there are two pages are there home.spx this was our previously that pa that page has been created if you'll click on that you will see our old uh, template here and uh, this is the new page so my, what microsoft has done for us is they created its a different page added some web part customized it for us and then set this page as the home page if you want to do it if you want to set this one as the home page then you can probably select make a uh, make home page so your previous things will be your previous page will be there you can see it uh, you can say why this border is there or this uh, color is there you can anytime you can go here and uh, go to the site information uh, sorry you can go to the change the look and here you can change the theme so if you want to change any theme you can see here i change this this theme and it has been changed so even if these templates whatever are available you can use it we can customize it we can change our logo we can add uh, any web parts into that existing page as well as if, if you want you can edit this uh, you know their out of box uh, their web parts basically which microsoft configured for us so we can configure those things as well and we can make this kind of attractive home pages for us so if you are actually new to this kind of uh, you know site design or professional look and feel if you want to see then this is a good option that you can easily see if you can choose any uh, template from that list of templates and you can see exactly what people are putting in the home page or uh, this is kind of a go to guide that you can follow it and you can create your own uh, page and you can customize it those things you can do easily so i thought i will explain this so that you will get an idea on how this um, this default site templates that we can use in our team site and communication site now if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel there are a lot of videos you will get it on sharepoint office 365 teams power platform spfx all these things you will get it so thank you and have a nice day